Hello, and welcome to episode 7, where today we're falling down. Uh, ah, you thought I was going to die there. Uh, where today we are falling down onto our next build, which is a new building, first one officially in my magazine. I done this a bit off camera, wanted to uh, uh, figure out the layout of my walkway. And this is like really starting to become beautiful. And right here is going to, um, that's an archway for like a build that's going to be for maybe a subway. This is like a different build. This is a build that I'm going to be building today. Uh, so like it's going to have like, uh, the prism marine on bottom, like right here, pretty much. Like on the bottom right here, it's gonna have like the outline, like going here, and then like it has to go like up a hill. Like this is gonna stop here. Then there's gonna be like some kind of like concrete or something to make it to like have like that part of it in the basement or something in it top of it is going to go up there <clears throat> and here's like an entrance and being like right here's like a little glass thing like showing like off like something on display here's like a couple windows here's like some brick and other stuff and let's pop into super fast build mode on this build so let's go and we are done with only the front sorry it was so short but i just had to wanted to have this build and to figure out like will be the inside. I wanted to have like a rough outline for the outside to see how it would look. And here, maybe it's gonna be brick. I don't know for sure, but I do want, uh, I did want some kind of cool outline like, like you have, like you have this area down, figuring out what you want, and then like, go to the inside. So like, it's like a, Kind of like an oldish design, but really cool. And having like this like copper on the outside with like the polished black stone to like see it have a as like supports like chains, since you cannot have like chains looking that cool. And then you have the oxidized copper here, showing like it's like kind of like a, almost like a theater type look, but like an old thing, but it's like now like not a theater anymore and like saying like in here was a shopping mall but then it just like stopped being a shopping mall it can be a museum if you wanted and like a giant gears something that used to like power this whole thing and still have a like, copper and like how i had it in the airship and like have all these pipes and stuff like on the ceiling and like cool pillars here like Holding up, it would be pretty cool. So let's twirl. So right here, you have a beautiful pattern floor, have this floor, have a dark floor here, have like a very colorful floor here, same pattern here, I have to remove that chest, then it transitions into another people floor, and then like a little bit of a different one, and then again another pattern, and then you have this giant wall with we got indent in the brick. I have to finish off that, but uh, it's just from the smallest, then slowly bigger, bigger, and bigger, and two more bigger ones. And my beautiful birch tree. I love this tree. <laughs> First time making a birch tree, and I love the customization. And like you have the giant circle on the top, and you have this circle with guardrails and the glass ones then have a little bit of a river and the ground on like because it's such a big tree it's like in the middle of water and the roots are right there and then like you have a bridge coming over and have a little path around it like you can like sit around on it 
and then it goes up and up taller uh, up here, really high up. Then in here, there's like more, gonna be more floors. And over here are my eight super smelters. So you can see this is my mega smelter, which is also like the engine room, you can say to this building, like a steampunk engine room. And all the gears are turning and like there's a gears here and over there. They're all of them in sync, then like powering this whole building and the pipes and water systems and everything. And like the next door, there's another building there. And like that's been powered like cotton mill or whatever you can, whatever it is. And uh, I had to, to, uh, to get a lot of materials. I also had to ask uh, for help and I uh, pay for that. And I am so grateful because honestly, this is beautiful. Look, this is oh so good. Now I don't have to like wait like an hour for one thing to smell. It's eight of them, 16 blocks long, having the furnaces and boom, everything turns on. It's like a giant roaring engine that turns on the whole building and today we're also going to be i think finishing off this wall i think uh i have all this brick and uh over there i don't have much of a clue but i think there's going to be brick there too and then i'm going to have more floors so let's hop in to another time lapse right now so let's go And we are done with that time lapse with the brick only because one, I have no idea where exactly the next floor is going to be. And two, I have to figure out what the windows should be. I know like, there will be windows here and there'll be windows here in the middle. And there's going to have to be some windows here and here. Maybe some arches or something there. And I don't know if you call this a steampunk skyscraper or or maybe you would call it an old type of steampunk skyscraper because back in the day, like skyscrapers used to be somewhere like this tall, maybe, but then they become taller and taller nowadays. But you can say this is like an old skyscraper, and here's like a bunch of new skyscrapers. But this is like an ancient building that is like you know, the last like steampunk engines and like so many like there's like modern buildings over here but this is like connecting to like modern and steampunk so like the theme i'm going with is steampunk and modern city build so this is a little bit of steampunkish because you have like the copper and same with the brick and like all of this old school looking architecture stuff but yeah and I like it. And right here, like you think that netherrack is like ugly and you, there's no use, but I did find a use for it. And like here, like pretty much in Hawaii, like uh, pretty much like Hawaii has like active volcano and you have like cinder and like cinder comes from lava rock. And like pretty much you can say this is a lava rock, cinder, and like you can mix in a little bit of like uh leather wart brick like block and have a like scanner to have a little bit more texture on it and then you can add like composter here with with like a leaf here and a leaf here and have a bit of here pretty much like pretty much saying that you have the like, plants like the, like here growing and oh, like maybe one bit of cactus right here you can add saying like you have some of this like growing like for you know cinder like for instance anything to grow on 
like here like in weeds and then actually it looks pretty cool like this so like it gives a little bit more aesthetic of like a, of a look and then it looks pretty cool like this it was like a slab of like laser ward block or the laser right we have a nice plant here we're gonna have like maybe some over here maybe also like we can have like around here like the roads curving here and then you have like a bit more here coming and like having like maybe a tree right here like and i really like what the this look and i have one piece of the wood the red laser wood would have a birch tree have the zinnias have the cactus all looking nice and beautiful and like you can i've got one leaf there uh, but it's pretty much like having the cinder and looking really beautiful i like this too and this is going to go all the way through like two blocks here two blocks there because it's ending here there's the measure we use here because it's this is a nice beautiful bed here or something like a for plants and then like the road is here and like it stops here because there's this and then it's going to continue and then stop and then continue on over there and so let's hop into super fast tunnel build the tunnel build and we are also done with this little extension i done for the road and i love the mud texture like all this is going to be like normal concrete not powder but the mud gives it the texture scene like it's worn down like a road not like super new so it's like gives it age look and having this extension area with the road curving this way and uh, this rail going this way and then that's going to go that way and then loop around coming back to here and i know that pirate cove is right there and my mega city is coming close to zark's pirate cove but i know zark wants to like have all of this bamboo gone and maybe the trees too but oh she wants to have like a maybe buildings here somewhere i don't know uh what she's thinking of and i don't know if that's i think a creeper farm right there but i think maybe i can case it in a big building seeing like it's a building but well and the top is the main creeper farm just to hide the ice or the look like that, you know, encasing that to make it look cooler. And I know I've done a lot of progress here and it looks so cool. Like this is like the modern district for the city. And like the tunnel is like part of like going from the old to the new. And then there's like the, see how the rail have to go like that way somewhere. And I have to have more concrete going this way connecting to the cargo port like right here seeing that it's all connected and i also had a nice uh thing with Peachy. like she actually helped me like uh i know like the server uses command blocks but it's, it's still survival i don't know how it's done but 
Did she helped me and like put in my other airship like as a copy to here. I love it. <clears throat> and man, I know it's so long to take to build this. I'm not hiding the fact that I use a teleportation command. But the thing is, it really looks cool to see an airship that spawn. Saying like I'm in vain spawn with an airship. But honestly. I love the build. It looks so cool. I know command blocks are used in the server, but only for teleportation purposes only because the nether is glitched and broken because Mojang won't fix a glitch that kills. And let's get back to my mega sleep, building the tongs and pistons for my last time lapse. Let's go. No. and pistons and the uh, rest of the floors for this building you can see the black and yellow like uh, caution tape over there which will be a giant window and you can hear the roaring engine going off there but right now it's shut off because the engines are off with the super smokers and you can see the pistons are different sizes because like like they're in a different position of like where they stop at and the giant Copper cogs are like per urn and a like power steampunk city. I don't have an official name yet. And cogs like go through the whole, the rest of the buildings and like carrying them like with electricity. And the rest of the floors are here built all the way to the top. And the uh, walls are done. And this area, I mind out, is for like the elevator shafts. Like, there's like an elevator shaft after going to each floor. And the last one will be for my, oh, great, it's raining. Well, this will be my penthouse where I'm going to be living in as an airship. And plus I need a lot of room. And I'm thinking this fourth floor is going to be my storage room right here. Somewhere I make the storage room because I have one, I have a lot of cobble and a lot of resources that I mined and I also officially sold my first property and my modern district they didn't want a steampunk district they wanted to have a modern and I sold it to Rose E and Master Fox which is a 52 by 52 area plot for 10 diamond blocks and this is like they want like a Victorian style uh, build which is pretty cool and they marked out where it's going to be built and honestly i'm surprised on how fast they actually mine out this area since i saw them last night to them and if anyone else is interested like i'm talking to a server like you can buy plots from me which are like different plots like seven by seven 14 by 14 32 by 32 42 by 42 52 by 52 the smallest block is one diamond block and the rest of them are like there's two but two diamond blocks four diamond blocks six diamond blocks eight diamond blocks and ten diamond blocks which was this plot and i am happy that i'm at least have a neighbor finally my city which honestly i'm not lonely anymore that i feel happy about and and i do have this plot which is 32 by 32 which probably saw the supposed to build but it hasn't built yet and we're going to be finishing off maybe some floors or something the next episode and i really love how this building turned out i did a lot of progress and oh this was a lot but i love it and all these chests are going to go on fourth floor and yeah so uh and uh, thanks for watching 
and please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.